Hey, I'm Ava. You probably remember me as that awkward teenager trying to survive high school, but now I'm all grown up and very mature. For example, I planned this whole date. And that hottie rowing my boat, that's my boyfriend, Cody. Do you mind rowing? I gotta fire off some texts real quick. Cody just got a big promotion. He's in finance. Although I couldn't tell you what he does exactly. Something with numbers, I think. Babe, isn't this so romantic? Totes. It's like out of a movie, right? Like one of my favorite rom-coms or a murder mystery. <laughs> great place to kill me and dump the body, right? <laughs> She's crazy. I think you have a great body. I'm glad we got this moment alone. I've been uh, wanting to talk to you about something. I think I need some space. Space. Space? What? Why are you? What are you saying? I think maybe we need to break up. Let me try that again. Apparently, that's my ex boyfriend. And this is how to survive a breakup. Ah! Ah! Ava, I meant break, not break up, I swear. Okay, maybe dumping him overboard was a little dramatic. You know the saying, you can't love somebody else until, in, until you love yourself? I think that's me. But I love you. I think you're amazing. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there for you the way I should be. Hey, hey, don't worry, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I don't know if I am. I gotta go on this journey of self-discovery solo, you know? I hear you, and I'm here for you. I will be here for you, whatever you need, even if it's space. Oh, I felt terrible. Like, he was a girl who just got dumped by the bachelor after hometowns, only I was the bachelor. <laughs> So, The Bachelorette. That is heartbreaking. You poor thing. You should get him a smudge stick. And some crystals, too. Do not get him crystals. Are you sure he was serious about the whole I need to work on myself thing? I just can't picture Cody saying that. I'm telling you, he's really going through something. But I feel terrible. I want to be there for him. What should I do? You want my real, honest advice? Yes, Zoe, desperately. You're better off without him. Cody wasn't that great of a boyfriend to you. I mean, didn't he forget your anniversary and go camping with his friends two years in a row? Yeah, he really does need a space, see? I should be more receptive to that. No, look, maybe this break or breakup, whatever it is, is actually for the best. Jade, what do you think? You just love him so much. I do. And he loves you so much. He does, you're right, this is so silly. No, you guys, tomorrow I'll go talk to him. Remind him that I love him and that I'm there for him and that we'll be okay. He's my Peter Kaminsky. Who? To all the boys I've loved before. All these heteronormative love stories, I can't keep track. He's her Prince Charming, and Ava's gonna be his spiritual guide on a quest to find himself. Thanks for the advice, guys. I think I'm gonna go get that smudge stick. What do you think is a smudge stick? Oh, it's a bundle of sage that you can burn and clear out bad energy in a room or... You know what? I'm good. I'm good. Cody, you there? <sighs> okay, Cody told me this key was for emergencies only, and I would say that this qualifies as one. Geez, he must really be taking this break hard. This place is at least 10% messier than it was last week. Who needs Property Brothers when you've got Ava? All of Cody's last three lock screens, printed and framed. Ah, <sighs> nothing says I love you more than harvesting your energy into pretty rocks. And we have to trigger those memory sensors. I know he always loved my perfume.
And you know, in case all that self-help stuff wasn't enough, just one selfie to help remind him what he's missing. You look freezing, huh? Let's get you a hoodie. All right. Try this one, but it is my fave, so I'm gonna have to give it back. Okay, but you might have to take it off of me. <laughs> Ooh. Why is your sister wearing your boxers? You lied to me. What? You told me you needed space because you were going through a hard time and I believed you. I wanted to support you. And now you're here cheating on me with this, this, this. I'm Emma. This Emma. Hi, Emma, nice to meet you. I'm Ava, Cody's girlfriend. Emma and I are just friends. You must think I'm dumb. I'm not. I loved you. At least I thought I did. Maybe I was just so blinded by your hair and your, your eyes and your face and your, your everything. But not anymore. I'm done. You okay? I'm fine, thank you. Ava, please, can I talk? No! You've done enough talking. We're done. That's right. I'm breaking up with you, and I'm going to take what very little shred of dignity I have left and leave. It's, it's, you, you gotta, okay. And when you take your dignity, you also take your stuff. So the first rule to surviving a breakup, believe that it's real. I'm such an idiot. And remember, real life is absolutely nothing like the movies. Nice boxers. Real life is harder and it's messier and it's scary and people do crazy things like this. Go away. I'm fine, I'm totally fine. <laughs> <laughs>